Well, hi, this is Joe again with another movie review. <coughs> and for the subject of this video, I'm going to be doing the 1991 uh, film, Green Card. Which stars uh, Andy McDowell and Gerard De Badu, along with B.B. Newworth, Robert Prosky, Greg Eldman, I think his name, his name is, and, and uh, for a brief man, uh, John Spencer. Because of your Star Trek Voyager fans, the guy who played Neelix uh, on the show also appears in this film. Uh, for those who don't know this, this, this film, this is Gerard Debordeaux's first real big uh, film in, in mainly the United States. Uh, he was at that time the biggest actor, or male actor in, in France history at, at that time. Now his career is pretty much he doesn't really do films all that much anymore. Uh, but this is also the film that uh, gave Lady McDowell her first real breakout role. Before then, she wasn't really she was, uh, a fashion model. Uh, for this film, it's also kind of a predictable movie. Uh, it stores, like I said, Andy McDowell and George de Badu as two people who have to get uh, married at City Hall. And Gerald de Badu's character wanted, wanted to get married because so he could have a green card because his green card expired and he got fired from his job as a waiter so he didn't know what the hell what what to do so he married the Andy McDowell's character and Andy McDowell got uh, agreed to this because she wanted to have a certain apartment that has a greenhouse and the only way she, that she would be able to get the apartment so she if, she, if she's married, because if, if she was single, she wasn't going to give it to a single, the whole great big apartment just for a single person. So, so that's why that's why she did. He he marries her, a complete stranger, because to get the green card. You know, they have a mutual friend who who arranges it, who arranges his marriage, who arranges the, the two of them to probably get married. Because he, a guy named Andre, I don't know who played the part, but he knew he he was friends with, with both characters so he says so he knew about George's problems as a George de Badu character and says hey guy like that why don't you uh my, my friend Parte the, that's the Andy McDowell's character uh so, so so you can get the greenhouse and you can get the uh, green court well well they all agreed to it and everything was going along fine until of course when the IOS comes along comes around and says wants to know well, the check of the marriage is legit. So George W. Joe's character now has to stay in the apartment that uh, Andy McDowell got, and to you know keep up the appearance as the, the happy married couple. And it's pretty much for the rest of the movies, this is pretty much the two of them spending the entire weekend. Uh, because the Monday morning they have to go from the the INS, the IOS, uh, INS. To check the uh, check out that the story out, so that's pretty much like they spend like a time. It feels it feels like two weeks because of the pacing of the film. It feels like longer than a whole weekend. But but it does. Uh, I mean, the movie is kind of predictable movie because you know what's going to happen at the end of the film. That uh, I know, and we're not giving away to those of you who never never seen the movie. But Gerard uh, Dumbledore did mess up on the big interview in the end of the film uh, because he mispronounced or he forgot the name of a certain skin cream that uh, the enemy Dow character uses. So because he missed that, he made a deal with the INS and said, "Look, you get to keep the greenhouse, you get to keep the, the apartment, and, and I'm being deported." And at, pre and, and at that point, that's when the two of them actually fell in love with each other. That, at that point, because they felt so bad, because they know they trained so hard and, and to get him to stay in the country, and all of a sudden he has to he has to leave. Uh, but you, you know the two of them gonna fall in love at the end of the film, and the movie ends with him getting into the car and we go back to uh, Andy McDowell's character, and that's it. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, since then, this movie became a, a marginal hit and became kind of popular and became pretty good write, not great write-ups. Because like I said, it became 
really predictable. But uh, that's why that's why I think SSP Wing is because it is kind of predictable. I, I, even by 1991 standards, the, the, the movie was predictable by that time. Or a, predict, or a predictable plot. But the, the movie did work because of the performances of Andy McDowell and George Dibbidu's character in, in the film. And I think George Dibbidu only made like two or three other films in the United States anyway. There was, for sure, well, what, most of the time made like French films. Uh, the only ones he made was My Father the Hero and I think he did uh, play Prince for Columbus. I think that, like the next year he played Prince for Columbus. And one of like the 9,000 movies that came out of Prince for Columbus in 1992. But uh, in 1991, he was, just, he was unknown in this country, but he was well known throughout the French speaking world, and then in France and so forth, because he was, like I said earlier, the number one French uh, actor. But, but uh, as the film itself, it is a pretty, pretty good film. Pretty good film. But after a while, by the end of the film, you feel like claustrophobic because a lot of the, and then the action in this film is in the apartment. It's almost kind of like real, real window in, in Well, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's kind of like a real window when you're confined to, to Jimmy Stewart's apartment. I almost kind of get kind of that feeling in this film because you tra I feel like I'm trapped in this apartment with Mr. With, with Tool. But it's not bad if you have someone who looks like Andy McDowell. I mean, it's not, not that bad. You get trapped in the apartment with her for three days. But, but uh, in terms of the, the film, I thought, it was, I thought it was quite good, but not great. I mean, I, I can recommend if you want to kill an hour and 45 minutes. But, but in terms of being a, you know, a great film, I can't really recommend it because, like I said earlier, it's too predictable of a film. But one thing I one thing I did like about this film is that you do you did have uh, BB New with her and playing as Barty's friend, even though she was only she got like the third third building in this film, even though she was only in like about like two or three scenes. And the lawyer Robert Prosky, who played Anthony McDowell's lawyer, she, he only appears like a one scene. And he gets fine in building. So, but because the majority of the film is with the is with the two of them. And New York was filmed, even though it was 1991, and you had all these writings going on with, with David Deacons as mayor, that piece of crap. Uh, and, but but was film, New York City was filmed very well in this film, especially in Central Park, because the apartment I think is near near Central Park. So so you so you do have you know the great scenery in Central Park for this film. Uh, but like I said earlier, it is a very predictable film, but I do recommend it if you, if you want to see one of the first and the first film that Andy McDowell uh, has done, if you haven't been a fan of first, uh, I, rec I recommend Green Court. But, but I don't give it like four stores or any of that stuff, because it's very predictable. Because you know where the story is going to go, go even before you even uh, uh, even if you watch it for like a half hour, you, you know where the story is going to go. I'm sure if it was made, if Screen Core was made today, it said back in 1991, I'm sure it wouldn't get the praise that it did at the time, or the popularity as it was at that time. Uh, but like I said, it is, it is a watchable film. But not, I know I'm saying it about 20 times away, but it's not a great film. So many of you of green card. Please click on the video, please read it, feel free to comment on it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and please uh, follow this video on your Facebook pages. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.